Mary, thank you so much for joining me. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, I am starting a new project. So Andrea, who is pretty as a peacock, created a project called Paranormal Pantivity, and it's all about ghosts and spirits, etc. So it starts today, um, September 24th, which is National Ghost Hunting Day. Who knew that was a thing? And it runs for one year. So she's left it pretty open-ended. You can update monthly or bi-monthly, whatever fits your schedule, and you start with a six. She also said you can do this rolling style or all at once, it's your choice. So I'm gonna do kind of a um, hybrid of both. I'm gonna walk you through all of the prompts and all of the products I've picked out. I'm gonna pick the six products I'm gonna start with. Um, we'll do that randomly. And then yeah, we'll go from there. Well, we're gonna do five randomly. One of them is gonna, one of them is not gonna be random. So to do this, I'm gonna put my glasses on. <laughs> so I'm sorry for the glare. Oh, these glasses go real well with this eye look, don't they? Maybe I should take some pictures of my glasses. I don't know. Anyway, I apologize for the glare, but a girl's gotta be able to see. Okay, there are 31 prompts. I believe there are 31. Yes. Okay. So for the first one is Poltergeist, and that's a product that gives you trouble, hard to use, faulty packaging, etc. I'm gonna bring in this. This is a Not Your Mother's Gel, and I don't know if you'll be able to tell if I squeeze, but when Ulta, surprise, surprise, <laughs> when someone at Ulta was getting these out of the boxes, they used a palette knife and it cut right through. They put it in my package, it got everywhere. This was earlier in the year. So yeah, Ulta, Ulta do me dirty all the time. So anyway, <laughs> I'll mark this, but my goal is gonna be to finish it. So yeah, I only have about what, two thirds left? Yeah, anyway, I enjoy that. So it's not gonna be a hardship to use. Next we have Doppelganger. A product you have a double or backup of. I'm gonna bring in this. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge um, 100 hour uh, moisturizer. So I probably won't start this until like closer to October, maybe November, because I'm currently working on one and that's expensive. But as soon as that one's done, then I'll start up on this one. And I think I only have one more after that, but hopefully I will have some money set aside for Black Friday because these are normally like, I wanna say 130. Maybe 79. I don't remember. And I got like this and five other things for $49. So keep an eye out if you enjoy Clinique skincare like I do. Next, the White Lady, a product that's white or has white packaging. I'm bringing in this. This is the Soap and Glory Speed Plump Intensely Hydrating Day Lotion. And for normal to dry skin, my goal is going to be to um, use this to completion. It's brand new. Wait, is that? Is it really only right, right there? I'm gonna mark this, but holy cow, I don't think there's much in that at all. Soap and glory. What are you doing? What are you doing? So anyway, this is in to finish. You see, you should be putting stuff back in, <laughs> back in the basket. Okay, so Bloody Mary is a product with a mirror, which is kind of funny how that kind of urban legend morphed because Bloody Mary was Mary Tudor, Mary, um, Queen Mary for England, and she was she got that nickname, that moniker, because she slaughtered a ton of Protestants during her reign. And so, yeah, it's so it's so funny to. I think the White Lady is also like Lady Jane Grey or something. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, this has a mirror. <laughs> this is my Park Avenue Princess. Um, I don't even like the smell of cocoa, and it smells good palette. So anyway, I'm going to bring in either carrot or crown. Well, I'm going to bring in one of these to hit pan. Um, these are magnetic, so I'll probably end up popping it out because this is just big and in the way. But my goal is going to be to hit pan. So if you have any of the tart things, I think most of them are magnetic, if you didn't know. So yeah, that is in for to hit pan. Yes. Vanishing Hitchhiker, um, a product that disappears um, quickly, I'm bringing in this. <laughs> this is a mini of the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. My number one tip for you, if you're just getting into project painting or whatever, is to make sure you have some give me items in a project that's a year long. That way you can have some things that finish and you can stay motivated. So this is a give me product. It will go real fast. And so yeah, this is in to finish. Next we have a gremlin. Don't feed them after midnight. <laughs> Right, that's Gremlins. Um, a mini or deluxe size sample. I'm bringing in another Clinique product. This, 
<laughs> Hashtag this project brought to you by Clinique. Anyway, this is the Smart Clinical Repair Wrinkle Correcting Eye Cream. Um, again, this will come in later in the year, maybe even the first of next year because I'm working on one or two already. So this is in to finish though. Wrong basket, messy. I have a whole cart, maybe I'll insert a picture, of in each project has its own basket. So anyway, <sighs> misty. <laughs> Word. I'm actually filming this in July. It's July 26th. So yeah, I'm trying to talk like I'm in the future. I may mess up, but there you go. Now you know. Okay, for Screaming Skulls, that is a Halloween or scary theme product. I really had a hard time with this one. Like really, really, really had a hard time with this one. But then I remembered I had a few eyeshadow palettes that would meet the criteria. So I had the lowest cosmetics, not only meet me in the underworld, but also meet me at midnight. I have the Two Moods palette from Give Me Glow that has the skull on the front. And then I brought, decided to bring in this. So this is the Moonspill Volume 2 from Lunar Beauty. And I'm going to pan my name. <laughs> so Misty, this is really pretty. Where are we? <laughs> this really pretty pink shade. And my goal is going to be to hit pan on that. this pink right here it kind of shifts from like a darker pink to a lighter pink there's a little bit of peach and gold in that so I think that's going to be absolutely beautiful on the eye and I cannot wait so again I'm panning the shade Misty <laughs> with the gold to hit pad. Next Banshee a product you are close to finishing I am bringing in these now these have been laying on their side and no they look okay these are the AOA A Plus Foundations. If you saw my um, Full Face of Shopman say, that was either in April or May, I honestly don't remember. I use these and I absolutely love them. So I have um, Porcelain and I have Fair Ivory. I've marked them, my goal is gonna be to finish them. You actually get a ton, you get almost a full ounce. So a half an ounce of foundation for $1.88 and it's a beautiful foundation. I have really dry skin, but it's a satin finish. Beautiful. Next, Dye Book, a product still in its box. So I slated the, the I Heart Revolution Watermelon Setting Spray um, because I don't keep anything in the box. Well, I have one more thing in the box, but that's really about it. So, <laughs> um, and this is gonna be in to finish. Next, Kelpie, that is a product you use in the shower or the bath. I'm gonna bring in a bath bevy bath scrub. Did you think I wouldn't? <laughs> this one is in pumpkin apple butter. I go, I've gone on and on about these. I absolutely love them. Bath bevy um, creates them in house and they always have fun scents. This one smells, oh, this apple butter. I love apple butter. Mm, that's the only good thing at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I said what I said. Oh, their pecan dumpling is good too, if they even still make it. Rob and I braved Crackle Barrel in Oklahoma City. Well, probably Edmond. Um, right there with that I-40 exchange. Is that 40 or 44? Anyway, we braved that on Mother's Day just so we could have a pecan dumpling. So good. Anyway, this is pumpkin apple butter. It is in to finish. It smells delicious. Boogie, AKA Boogeyman, a product you use at night. I'm bringing in this. This is the Dream Booster Drops by Beatman. You guys know that I go on and on and on about these. Um, this is their retinol alternative and it's bakchuli, bakchuli oil. I don't know. Anyway, I really like it. I've gone through two or three of these already. If you don't want to invest in like a really kind of harsh, Medicinal, is that the right word? Retinol, that one's really good. Okay, Demon, a product that you were tempted into buying, that would be this. So this is the NARS Orgasm on the Beach palette. I picked this up last summer on the recommendation of It's Just Steph. I think she talked about it in four or five videos and finally I said, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so my go for this is just 22 uses and that can be any color. Um, it would be cool to go ahead and hit pan on one of these. Um, they, there are a couple of them that are kind of deep. That looks more like a kind of a bronzy shade. 
Um, so yeah, but yeah, I am excited to get some use out of this. And again, my goal is 22 uses on that. Next, ectoplasm, and that's a face mask. I'm bringing in this. This is a deluxe size sample of the honey potion from a pharmacy. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Is this the warming one? I don't know that this is the warming one. No, it is a warming one. So it's a leave-on mask. It's brand new. Um, I have decided that I am only going to start. I'm only going to start. I'm, blah, blah, I'm only going to continue to purchase the Honeymoon Glow from Pharmacy because everything else I just can't handle the scent. I just can't do it. Ghost, a product with unfinished business, aka something you previously panned but did not hit your goal on. So basically like Resurrection, and this says it's inspired by Emily and Max. I'm bringing in this. This is the Dry, dry Bar Hot Toddy Heat Protectant Spray. I had used this in my old new Gifted Blue because Danny had sent this my way. And I used it for a while and then I was like, meh, I, I didn't want to finish it. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it in now. I am, I mean my hair is longer. Um, today I just kind of put it up and then, yeah, <laughs> put it up and then pulled it down. But there are times when I either straighten it, blow dry it, etc. So that is going to get some use, especially in the um, fall. Necromancy, a product you haven't used in a long time. And I'm going to bring in this. This is the Too Faced Melted Fig Lipstick. If you watched my first project ever which was um that's expensive in 2020 you know i tried to pan this and i did not do it but we're gonna give it another go I mean, it has a pretty big air bubble in it i'm hoping to get that out soon there's a weird kind of a weird vinegary smell <laughs> but it's not completely off-putting if it gets to a point where it's off-putting then i will probably just declutter it i don't think they make this color anymore if you guys know if they do let me know it's a melted fig it's so pretty it's just so pretty. Next, Ouija board, a product with embossing or an imprint. I'm bringing in this. This is the Nabla Blush in Truth. This is it right here. It really reminds me of Orgasm or, um, it's a bit more orange than Orgasm. Tarte Frosé, maybe it's a bit more orange. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful blush and um, my goal is gonna be to wear off the pattern. Yeah, that's my goal. No, 22 uses. Well, we'll see if that wears off the pattern. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Next, we have Urban Legend, a product that's too good to be true, and I'm bringing in the aforementioned Honeymoon Glow. This is their AHA BHA Resurfacing Serum. I love this. Like, I cannot be without this. If you're someone who is super dry like me, Using this once, sometimes twice a week, works miracles on your skin. And if you use this twice a week and then you use that Beekman on the other days, I just love the way my skin feels. So this will be, this is a holy grail, even though I hate their honey grail oil, but this one is like, it's so flipping good. Trust me, I promise. It does sting a little bit the first time you use it, but you wanna use it like once a week, build your way up to twice a week if you're super dry. Um, I really do like it and I put this down and then I go on top of it with a sleeping mask so either my Ulta sleeping mask or right now I'm working on my Clinique sleeping mask so yeah anyway Urban Legend it's fantastic Orbs a product that brings light to your face I'm gonna bring in this this is the iHeart Revolution radiance powder I marked it um, I was like, oh, there's not much in here. The problem is it's all stuck in the, <laughs> the top of the packaging. So let me see if I can show you. It does have a little bit of a sheen. Uh, where can I put this? It's not, like, it's not a whole lot, but it is there. So, excuse me, my goal is going to be to finish this. And this is the first time I have panned a loose powder. So, <laughs> we'll see. I'm still working on the Skin Finish by Revolution. And my goal is to finish that. So, we'll probably, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Alternate. Or maybe they'll work beautiful together. 
We'll see. If that is in, you will finish. Next, Seance. A product you brought because someone else told you to or recommended it. I'm bringing in this. This is a Sephora lipstick in the shade Cherry Blossom. So I was on the hunt for a dupe of the ColourPop B OK. And Jen from Project Beauty mentioned um, this line of lipsticks. So I picked up Snapdragon, but I also picked up this shade. Um, I don't... Does it say you? It's, it's the Clean Hydrating Satin Lipstick. These are so comfortable and so pretty. And I'm going to put a finish goal on this. So my goal is going to be to finish it. I think I can. It's a beautiful... I mean, this is a beautiful nude. It is right up my alley. Um, I got this when Sephora was doing their VIB sale. And they had, what, their line for 40% off or something. Beautiful lipsticks. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, <laughs> Flying Dutchman. A product... You are doomed to pan what feels like forever, and that's this. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer that Dani sent me after she used it in her Project 10 uses. I think I got 74 uses out of it, and my goal is going to be to finish it. Um, it's going to look different by the next update because, again, I'm filming this in July. So I'm going to use it until this project starts. Once this project starts, because it's not, it's not in a project right now. I'm going to use it till the project starts. Once the project starts, I'll take its weight and take pictures and we'll kind of um, see how we go from there. But I would really like to finish this since it took me all freaking year. Well, six, seven months, seven months to hit pan on it. So, yeah. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see how I do. Afterlife, a product that's past its expiration date. I'm <laughs> bringing in this. This is the Revolution Hydrate and Fix Radiance Makeup Fixing Spray. This has a shelf life of 12 months, and I want to say I bought this in like 2020, 2019, 2020. So my goal is going to be to finish it. I'm going to take off the um, label so we can see it in market. But yeah, I, you guys know I go through setting sprays, so it's not going to be an issue. Oh, I didn't pull that out. Excuse me. Hold on a second. Oh, please. Okay. So, for Black Dog, that's an animal-themed product. I'm bringing in this. This is my Lovebird palette from ColourPop. I'm bringing it in because, again, Andrea is pretty as a peacock. She loves peacocks, and this has peacock feathers. My goal is going to be to hit pan in this shade right here called Sing a Song. And like I said, once this starts, I will take pictures. We will track um, progress that way. It's this right here. It's almost the same color as that blush. <laughs> anyway, my goal is to hit pan. If I hit that pretty quickly, then I may put it into finish. We'll just have to see. Okay. Domovic, a household spirit in Russian folklore. A product that has followed you from house to house. Now, I don't have anything. I, um... Yeah, I don't have anything. We've been in this house now 11 years. It was 11 years on Labor Day weekend. And when we moved, I didn't, I hadn't worn makeup. Um, I didn't have any skincare. So instead of um, skipping this or whatever, I've just decided to bring in one of my oldest products. And those are two from BH. I have the BH Cosmetics Reg Original Zodiac and also have this. This is the BH Cosmetic um, Highlighting Palette, which is so good. It's so good. So my goal is going to be to hit pan in one of these. I don't know which one. Maybe this glow. But they're, I mean, they are so pretty. Like, so pretty. I don't know if they still make this anymore. If they do, or if you find it at TJ Maxx or whatever, I say pick it up. Because it's, they're really, really pretty. If you followed my bingo project, I used that a lot for bingo. And I just... Yeah, I'm bringing it in because I enjoyed it just that much. So that is in for pun. Next, we have Exorcism, an item you want out of your collection. I'm bringing in this. This is the Maybelline Fit Me um, Dewy and Smooth Foundation. I feel like I picked the wrong color. I think this is a bit too warm and a bit too deep. So for that reason, my goal is to finish this and get it out of my collection. Next, we have Haunting, a dupe product that haunts you or pan you or pan a product you regret buying. I'm going to pan a product I regret buying, and that's this. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Oh, man. This is just awful. Awful. 
So I panned the Salmon Shade in the Concealer Palette. So before, like I, I bought makeup from Milani to do like a full face of Milani on another channel that I've abandoned. Will abandon the makeup. <laughs> and at the time they didn't have anything but that concealer palette. But then like the very next week or two weeks later they released this one and I bought it and it, I shouldn't have. This is so drying. It has pretty decent coverage but it's so drying on the under eyes but I don't well I should have yeah like see you can see I've got some definite windowing um so I think this will be pretty easy to finish and it fits the prompt so there you go <laughs> Tommy Knocker as spirit that lives or works in minds this is a product named after a metal or metallic product bringing in this this is the jcat pres metal um eyeshadow in first attraction and my goal is going to be to hit pan this has gotten a little dry for me so i may have to end up adding some duraline or something oh that's gonna look really pretty with that misty shade world champion swatcher like can you imagine these three together that's gonna be pretty okay i like it <laughs> so anyway again we'll take measurements pictures um it's a little dry so we'll see how i do i may have to add duraline to get it to work but yeah really pretty if you can get these and they're not dried out they're absolutely gorgeous and they have some really pretty neutrals or you can pick up the ones from shop miss a that are these velvet mousse they're a dollar and they're beautiful okay misty moving right along Reincarnation, a product you bought in the past that has updated packaging. I'm going to bring in this. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Snow Day. And I want to say, I don't even know if they make these. I think they're going to that short lipstick formula, right? Or lipstick lip gloss. This is the one that has the brush instead of the doe foot. My goal for this is going to be to finish it. That shouldn't take very long because there is really a lot of windowing. So yeah, that is in the finish. Revenant, a item that has come back into your collection, something you've repurchased, and I'm bringing in this. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Watermelon Cleanser. I love this so much. Um, it's very gentle, number one, and I'm using two different cleansers that are for sensitive skin, the Clinique one and the one from First Aid Beauty, and neither one, both of those burn my eyes, neither one of them feel like they are meant for sensitive skin, but I love this one. I haven't tried any of their other formulas of the Jelly Pop, but I love this one. It doesn't foam. That's the only kind of thing that's kind of weird about it. But I actually kind of like that because I feel like anything that really foams kind of sucks all the moisture out of my face. So I have a backup of backup and I'm going to probably buy some more once I use this one up. I absolutely love this. And it's like, what, five or six dollars? It's very inexpensive. Silkies. Female spirits dressed in silk. A product with a silky texture or powder or something that leaves your skin feeling silky smooth. I'm going to bring in this. This is the Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas. I am going to... Try to ban this. We'll see how we'll, we'll see how we go. <laughs> we'll see how we do. Uh, next is in a drawer. Um, Spirit, a nature themed product. I'm bringing in this. This is the KVD lip vinyl in Carnation, and you guys know carnations are flowers. Um, they are the one flower that I don't allow allow Rob to get me. Um, this is it right here kind of close to this one um <laughs> it's superstition in my family and um that carnations are death flowers so and just like owls are bringers of death so if you hear a hoot owl that means someone around you is going to pass away and i can't deny that one because it's happened a couple of times I've also dreamed um, of someone dying and then they died a couple weeks later. I didn't mention this at the beginning of this video or yeah, because that's why I was like interested in this one and not Nightmare on Painting Street. I remember Painting Street is horror and I hate horror, but I feel like I have a connection with this because of spirits, etc. And if that's something you want to hear in a story time or something, let me know because I'd be happy to share but we're already at 902 hours, so let's keep going. 
Oh, it's last but not least. <laughs> last but not least is Tower of London, a product that makes you lose your head either in delight or frustration. I've decided to go very, very literal with that and bring in this. This is the Batiste Original Dry Shampoo. This is the 6.35 ounce. Um, I don't lose my head in, in delight like that, but it is for your head and <laughs> I like it, it's delightful. So yeah, it's in to finish. So that's it, let's, do I wanna randomize now? You guys have been listening to me talk for 22 hours. Let me go ahead and pull it up. Uh, let's see, pretty random. Two, oh, 301, what? No, uh -uh, uh -uh, honey. Clear history, prevent re-rolls. We're gonna roll in five, so one, two, Three, four, five. Okay, so number 19 is Orbs, a product that brings light to your face. So that is that Revolution powder. And so that will be in one of the first ones in to the project. Next we have 11. 11 is... Kelpie, a product you use in your bath or shower, so that's going to be the bath bevy. 26 is Haunting, a product that you regret buying. That's going to be that Milani concealer. Then we have 15, which is Ghost, a product with unfinished business. That's going to be that dry bar hot toddy, which is actually pretty good because it may take me the entire project to finish it. <laughs> uh, 28 is reincarnation a product that you've used in the past and brought in updated packaging etc that is the um, lip and then last but not least is going to be fine dutchman a product you are doomed to pan what feels like forever and that is the two-faced chocolate silver relay bronzer since this is in um to finish i want to go ahead and start it now so we have the Dry Bar Hot Toddy, we have the Bath Bevy, we have the Lip Gloss, we have the Powder, the Bronzer, the Concealer, and yeah, so that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. You really need to be a member of the Fantastic Ladies unless Andrea um, decides to put this on Google Sheets or something. Um, to get the prompts. Again, it starts today, September 24th, so you still have plenty of time to jump on. It's going to be really, really fun. And like I mentioned, if you want to hear my spooky stories, just let me know. I'll do Get Ready With Me or something, or maybe I'll share one per video. We'll see. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below. Speaking of comments, let me know if you're doing this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram. Have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are. I love your faces, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Look at those glasses, lads. Look at them. Just look at them.